Hi, Dr. Gundry here. I don't know about you, but I can't believe how fast this year has flown by. It seems like it was only yesterday that I was here in the Gundry MD kitchen showing you how a heart surgeon carves a turkey. It's right here on my YouTube channel if you're curious. And now, Thanksgiving's right around the corner, again. So today, before you go too deep into planning, I want to talk about a few of the best and worst things on your Thanksgiving table. That way, you know what landmines to avoid and where to indulge. Of course, you could do a completely lectin-free Thanksgiving. There are recipes to help with that on my blog and right here on my YouTube channel. But what if you're traveling over the holidays or if you're not in charge of cooking? Let's start with the bad news. The Thanksgiving foods you need to avoid. It should come as no surprise that most of these are heavy, starchy dishes. First, and for a lot of people, this is the worst news, stuffing. It's everybody's favorite side dish. But here's the truth about stuffing, even gluten-free cornbread stuffing. It's all bread, and it's designed to stuff you and make you fat. Plus, lots of stuffing has antibiotic-loaded sausage and sugary dried fruits to make it even less healthy. Now, if you're one of those people who thinks it's not Thanksgiving without stuffing, guess what? I'm right there with you. That's why I came up with the millet stuffing recipe featured right here on my YouTube channel. Second, mashed potatoes. They are poison on poison. Seriously, potatoes are part of the nightshade family. And if that's not enough, you're drowning them in milk that has casein A1. Not good for your gut. But Dr. Gundry, I love potatoes, especially with gravy. That's another thing. Gravy isn't especially gut-friendly either, especially when it's made with box broth or artificial powdered mix and thickened with a whole lot of flour. Of course, that doesn't mean missing out entirely. Make yourself a big bowl of mashed cauliflower and thicken your gravy with tapioca starch or even a bit of heavy cream instead of flour. Third, pumpkin pie. Now here's the frustrating thing about pumpkin pie. A lot of magazines and blogs, and even some nutritionists, claim pumpkin pie is the healthiest pie because it's only got a bottom crust and it's a little bit lower in calories. But pumpkins, one of those fruits, yes, fruit, that's native to the new world, meaning your body doesn't quite know how to process it. And that can lead to a whole range of uncomfortable digestive issues. Now, if possible, I suggest skipping the desserts. But I understand it's hard to resist mom's apple pie. So if you've absolutely got to have a slice of something, go for a thin slice of sweet potato pie. Don't eat the crust. Not available? Make yourself a festive dessert coffee instead with a little stevia, some cinnamon, some cocoa powder, and some unsweetened whipped cream. It'll kick your sweet craving and leave you with the energy to wash the dishes. Last on the bad foods list, green bean casserole. But Dr. G, it's the only vegetable dish on our table. Well, it's time to change that. Seriously, with all the great vegetables in season right now, it amazes me that people still take canned green beans, dump in high sodium soup, top it with fried onions and cheese, and serve that on a special occasion of all things. It's not just that beans have lectins, though that is problematic. It's the combination of beans, additives and preservatives, tons of salt and unhealthy fats, not good. Instead, go with Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, roasted root vegetables, even a green salad. But if all that's bad, what's on the safe list? Well, sweet potatoes are safe as long as you scrape off any marshmallows or other sugary topping. If your family serves Brussels sprouts, those are also a pretty safe bet, especially if they're cooked pretty simply and not tossed in maple syrup or another sugary glaze. You know, veggie dishes like broccoli, spinach, and roasted asparagus are also safe bets, as are salads. And feel free to go for that turkey, especially if it's a heritage bird or in a bind, a kosher bird. And just skip the gravy unless you know how it's been thickened. Now one other thing, possibly the most important thing, enjoy yourself. 
And if you do eat something or lots of things that aren't the best for you, don't see it as failure. Instead, make a plan to do something especially healthy the next day. Start your morning with a glass of Vital Reds. Maybe fast until lunchtime, especially if you overdid it, and do something physically active, like a game of football with the family or a long walk with the dogs. One bad meal doesn't have to ruin your day or your health. So happy Thanksgiving, and thanks for being part of the Gundry MD family. I'm actually thankful that you're here. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Thanks for watching. Click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you don't miss a single video. Click on the left to watch another great video, and don't forget to visit my website for more of my best tips. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.